don't don't go big. You don't go small. Be local. You know, we we live here. Uh, my wife grew up here. Uh, she went to the Claremont School Districts. Uh, we met in Colorado and moved here. Um, and so it was, you know, where where can I affect that change? Well, I've got three kids. Why not get involved in education? I don't have an education background, but I have gone through school. I have my bachelor's. I have a, a business mind. I've been in in my industry for a long time. Um, I'm not from California, so it's I, I'm bringing a completely different perspective. Um, to, to the table than the current school board members, past school board members. Um, so it, it, when, when we have that diversity of perspective and input, that's when we can actually look at problems and provide a better understanding of where we can go in the future with. Yes, COVID happened. Um, it was difficult on everybody. It was difficult on the school district, the students, the parents, everybody. But to say we should come out guns blazing and pointing fingers and assigning blame, that does more harm than good. And that isn't always everyone's duty. Like you don't, you know, let, let's not assign blame. However, let's get back on, you know, let's get running again. Let's keep going because we've got thousands of students that are relying on us to, to move forward, to do better, to be ready for the next time. And so it's really, you know, not assigning blame, but let's do better because it's our community and we, we are, we owe the community and the community, it, it's a, we're a family. We all work together. And I think that those bonds of trust were really stretched then for a lot of people. Let's come back together and let's talk on even ground. Let's address the issue. Let's address the grievances and find out how we can do better because if you're if if uh, <clears throat> if people are coming in and they're saying you're not doing good enough okay well then what can don't don't uh don't provide me a problem without also providing me a solution if we want to do better for our students students are kids for parents let's re-engage the parents let's show them that their tax dollars are worth it that their kids are worth it that the future of those kids are worth it because if we're not going to say that, then what are we trying to do? I'm, I, my kids are in the direct line of fire of a decision that the school board would decide on. So that alone weighs more on me if I were to sit in that chair. I have to take extra consideration because it's, it's my kids and it's everyone else's kids.